just remembered something guys and more memories will come back to me about me being a cook in the army the warrant officer class 2 caterer up in Townsville when I was he, when I was there his name was warrant officer class 2 Brown and everyone was scared of him he was one mean mother fucker warrant officer Brown he was a real prick but anyway that's the way it was guys got no regrets of the army it's no doubt one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life way better than the Royal Australian Navy the worst thing about being in the Navy was what I noticed there's no self-discipline whatsoever you know and I joined at a later stage when I joined I was 30 but you know I was really really disappointed in the way the sa young sailors were you know you get talking to these sailors in full uniform and they had tongue piercings eyebrow piercings they wouldn't they would have eyebrow piercings guys and they were they, but they'd hide them they'd have fishing wire stuck in their eyebrow piercings but i felt really ashamed of this one of guys especially when these guys were overseas overseas doing um, special ceremonial duties and these guys would be doing their ceremonial duties talking to other foreign navies chinese navies Asian and all those other countries, Asia, and you know, you can see them talking, and you know, obviously when you're talking, you can see some blokes with a bloody piercing in their tongue, I felt really ashamed guys, and they never cracked down on it, and so it still exists today, but like I say, I joined the army in 1989, when it was pretty tough times back then, there was no rooting around back in those days guys, it was full on discipline, if you stuffed up, you stuffed up and you got punished big time. Whether it be a bag full of um, a pillowcase full of soap or extra duties and you know doing full, full uh, marches in your pack in parade grounds or 12 hours straight as punishment. And that was the way real soldiers were made guys. But I just want to say one thing, I know the soldiers these days are fully disciplined trained soldiers when we were when I went through the army there wasn't really many wars happening and there were obviously still a lot of um, fully disciplined really good soldiers SAS soldiers and everything else who served overseas and even when I was in the Navy there's some really obviously as many many 90% of the 99% of the sailors were, were professional sailors and the one percent the Undisciplined sailors, we're just like anywhere else in the world. So I loved it, no matter what, guys, both Army and Navy. See ya.